What is going on, members of the Barrio? It's John, and I'm at Chadwick Beach right now, down the Jersey Shore, as they call it locally here, and I have been coming to my friend's beach house here for probably more than the last 10 years, and today I'm gonna be taking you guys to a really interesting place called Asbury Park, which is a, a beachside town. It has a boardwalk. It was made famous by Bruce Springsteen, and everybody's been telling me that this place is changing a lot, that it's getting revitalized, and we're gonna go explore it together. Hola, Adriana. I'm already filming you. Good, you got your uh, Latino music on. So it took us about an hour to get here, a little bit of traffic running into Asbury Park, and uh, we're heading for the boardwalk. Gonna show you guys all that. Before we do, we are walking past a really famous music venue called the Stone Pony, which helped launch careers of some famous people you've probably heard of, like Bon Jovi and uh, Bruce Springsteen. So if you guys remember, this is Andrew. He's a uh, Jersey uh, through and through, and he was in one of my videos in the past. What's going on, man? I like your shirt, by the way. Nice color. Thank you. Matching the sunset. You like his shirt too? Yeah. It's actually more crowded here than I expected, and uh, I've been to every major boardwalk uh, in New Jersey. I mean, this is what you do in the summer. You grow up in Jersey. I've been coming down here for a long time. It's my first Jersey Shore trip, though, since the summer of 2015. So I've been really curious about Asbury Park, and I've heard from a lot of people that it's super hipstery. It's like Williamsburg coming to Jersey. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. Mike, my friend, insisted we try this place, which has a lot of different food varieties at the end of the boardwalk. Eat poke, bro. We are not in Hilo, Hawaii anymore. Can I get two of the ziti slices? A lot of food, man. <laughs> I think I can handle it, though. Yeah, I got it, I got it. There were so many choices for food, but I went really old school and I ordered pizza with ziti on top. Because when I was in high school and I'd go out for lunch in northern New Jersey, I always ordered that. So I'm hoping Luigi's can uh, make me feel some nostalgia. It's actually surprisingly hard to keep together a pizza that has ziti on top of it. Okay, they nailed this. They, they really did a good job. This, this reminds me of Fairlawn, New Jersey, a lot. Yeah. I used to get this all the time. I was, I was telling, I was telling the audience that. The mic order. This is insane. Wow. Whoa. Andrew somehow convinced us to come to a fudge shop, which seems like a very good idea right now. It's like the inside of a candy bar. It's like, it's like a caramel, like a Milky Way or something. Fudge is like a big Jersey Shore thing, isn't it? Yeah, I'll tell you the reason why. Because um, where it was invented was Vassar College up in Poughkeepsie, New York, back in 1889. During a culinary class, the girls there were making caramel. The professor, when she was walking around, she saw one student undercooked her caramel and said, you really botched this. The slang term for botch in 1889 was fudge. So thanks to Andrew, I discovered that fudge was invented in Poughkeepsie, New York, and is very popular from Poughkeepsie all the way down to Maryland because of that. I was not looking for that information, but I found it, and we tried the fudge here. Very, very good and very Jersey Shore style. So now we're gonna be walking to a pinball museum, and that's all I'm gonna say about this for now, because from what I've heard, this could be one of the coolest things I've filmed in a really long time. I'm um, seeing pinball machines from like the 1950s to current and uh, with one of these wristbands, 1250, I have one hour of unlimited play and I'm gonna be jumping around like crazy. Guys, check this out. This is like the most Canadian thing ever. Oh! Alright, I'm bored of this. I'm bored of this game already. I want to find 
something really, really old. Strike two. Strike four. Strike seven. You know how when you were a kid and you only had a few dollars to play a game? Well here if you get bored of any of these games, you just jump to another one. So I don't think I've played any game longer than like five minutes because there's just so much going on from so many different eras that I'm honestly a little bit overwhelmed. I had this game in Mexico, yes? Yes, there is a story when your mom asked you to go to the store to buy something to eat it and, you, and it took you like a while because you were playing it. You are classically trained. You're stuck! I found a game I'm halfway decent at. It's uh, 1960s baseball. Press here to pitch. And then you swing like this. So w watch. I got a double and the, and the runners move over. I just scored a run. This cost 10 cents when it first came out. That's incredible. Andrew, what the heck are you doing? It looks like, it, it looks like kitty litter. I won! Again. So as we leave the, uh, the retro arcade, I'm starting to understand this hipster Williamsburg vibe here because normally at the Jersey Shore, you see games on the boardwalk and like hot dogs and hamburgers and funnel cakes. And here, we've seen more sushi and crepes and uh, definitely things that I would uh, picture in Williamsburg or at Smorgasburg for sure. So we're going to one more stop right now, a uh, very classical bar, and you're gonna recognize it probably right away. We are crossing a street and about to go into Wonder Bar, which is one of the uh, oldest establishments here in Asbury Park and well known as one of the places that uh, Springsteen used to perform. And I'm hoping to find some of his memorabilia inside and at a minimum at least have a beer. What about you, Andrew? Yeah, sounds yeah. good, boss. Actually, at Wonder Bar, I was talking to one of the bouncers and he was telling me that the owners of the place know Springsteen really well, that he still comes in there to this day, and uh, that he's performed there many, many times, and his memorabilia was like all over, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, they had live music there. This whole Asbury Park scene is really cool. We've got kind of a mix of the old stuff going on back here, and then the new, more hipstery vibe uh, when you go to the boardwalk. So I, I totally recommend you check this place out, and if you live in New York City, you can take a train about hour 45, two hours here. Here, so it's uh, totally worth it. Andrew, what'd you think? Well, that's pretty good. I normally don't come at night. I've been a couple times to some of the places and I'd recommend it to anybody. A Jersey guy recommends it. New York City guy recommends it. Totally uh, come check Asbury Park out. Want to encourage you to subscribe if you are new here. I'm going to be in New York for the next couple of months. Got a lot more videos coming out. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Yo, Andrew, where are we going next? Never, never, Rand.